Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. First proper sit down, I believe. Obviously, I've interviewed you loads, Josh. Yeah. Uh, but the first time in a kind of relaxed environment. For a long time, isn't it? Long yeah. time. Long What's time. Happening? Yeah, all good, man. All good. Good to see you back in the ring. Uh, talking about a long time. We we're just having a chat as uh, we came to the to the room. Fourteen months since the Ryan mm. fight. So you firstly just must be delighted to be back in action, Josh. Yeah, man. To have a date, an opponent. Um, a date that's gone through. Someone said to me today, when you box on Sunday, Josh, it'll be 400 days. That's a long time, isn't it? So, um, they've been doing the maths right. So, yeah, I look forward to it now, man. Of course, not the ideal situation where fans aren't in attendance, True. but still uh, a big occasion because these fights where the fighters are, are managing to get out in lockdown will go down in history. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, like you said, it's not ideal, but when... Will it go back to life? That's the question. Do you know what I mean? No one knows. So I think rather than sitting and waiting, it's best I get on. Like you said, I've had a long spell out of the ring, so there's no point waiting any longer. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's good that I've got an opponent and I've got a date. No, I agree. A lot of fighters at the start would perhaps question, should I just wait this out? Yeah. Maybe around this time fans will come back. But we know now, we don't know with this situation. Yeah, it's exactly. like another six months at least yeah, until fans yeah. can come back etc until a vaccine's in place so especially in your case where we just said you've had so much time out the ring mm. it's critical that you get out and all being well on sunday perhaps another one before the end of yeah the year. that's the plan man if sun not even if it will go well for me so um it's just a matter of if i can definitely get one more bad before the end of the year then i'll be willing to do that um obviously get this out of the way sit down uh, with the team and eddie and then see what what's on offer I know you've done a ton of interviews today where you've talked about Loads, the same, it? same thing. But it's part of it, so let's go. Man. It is, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'll, listen, Marco Kalic, um, been around the amateur game quite long. Yeah. He had heard of you uh, whilst he was in the amateurs, etc. And if you want to go and, and look at him, go and search his name on YouTube and see what he can potentially bring yeah. to the table. But there's no point me going through the same stuff. And I, I want to come back to what you said about kind of life and coming back yeah. into to normality. I know you're quite a deep thinker. Um, what is it that inspires you the most in terms of this boxing game? Obviously, you're doing it um, because you're a fantastic amateur, you have loads of talent, you want to become world champion, achieve great things, but there must be a wider reason why yeah. you do this, Josh. Um, I think in the simplest form, it's to, you know, like, if you're connect, as in you're the plug, you're the source, like, you've got something going on, but a lot of people are affected by it in a good way. So that's how, I, that's how I see it. You know, boxing is a vehicle and a platform to do the boxing and everything. But off of that, me doing well, I want people to benefit from it. Not just myself, not just hugging everything or keeping everything that happens. So um, it's wider than myself, for, for me anyways. So like I box and all that cool, but it's wider for me if I sit back in a few years' time and, and to say that, oh, you know, I boxed, I won, I did this, and it's all I, 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 and no one can say, oh, do you know what, he done this, he done that, he helped with this, we sorted out this and that and that, then I haven't, I haven't done well, do you know what I mean? So for me, it's wider than myself. So essentially, changing people's lives uh, for the better. Yeah, and, and, and I think everyone wants to do that. What I, I'd like to think that, anyways, that most people... When you're doing well, you don't want to just keep it all to yourself. You you have to spread your wings, man. Help people when you can. Yeah. Um, but it's a touchy one, do you know why? Because I think, let me do these things. I don't like to talk too much about it. Let, do what you have to do and just get on with it. It just is what it is. Rather than talking and say, oh, I did this, I did that, I did that. I'm more of, of the approach saying, okay, cool. Something's happening or I've done something. That's cool. It, it's, it is what it is. That person that I know, and I'm cool with it staying like that, rather than coming out and saying, oh yeah, I've done one, two, three, four, five. I, I, yeah, mm. that's a bit long. So yeah. just getting on with it, doing it, and then causing it better. Yeah, because as long as I know, that person's know, and we know what's happening, and things are good, and we're doing what we got to do, I, I prefer that approach. Where does that come from, though? 
Um, where does it come from? Just being a good um, person. <laughs> that word, do you know what? That it, it depends what people define as a good person, do you know what I mean? But where it comes from, I think, I've grown up in Ghana, then I've come here, I've had a big opportunity in life, I've found something that I'm good at, something that I can, you know, maximise and do well in. So I think just remembering where I came from and seeing some of the things that I've seen and just being grateful in general just for everything. Um, there's probably people out there that are much more talented than I am, but they just haven't got the opportunity and the platform. So it's like while I'm here and in this moment, I have to make sure I make use of it. Um, so I think that, yeah, I'd say that's kind of my reason and just have to make the best with what I've got. Um, and it doesn't have to be boxing for other people that do boxing, singing, writing, nine to fives, whatever it is, man, just make it a most out of that. How important within boxing is your relationship with God? Um, How much of a, of a factor does that play? Besides the physical work that we have to do, the running, the sparring and everything, that's the other aspect to it, mentally and physically. Mentally, you get your body to do the work and everything. I mean, physically, you get your body to get up and do the work and everything, but mentally, um, how you think and where your mind's at, for me, that that's the biggest role. Like, it plays the biggest, biggest factor. Um, to do all that work and then not be mentally prepared in terms of what I believe in and all, all of that stuff, it wouldn't work out for me. Yeah, it wouldn't work out at all at all like I wouldn't I wouldn't step in that ring personally yeah I wouldn't have the confidence to step in that ring should I say okay. yeah to to do all that work physically and mentally not be um, confident in the things that I've read or in what I believe in I wouldn't be able to get in so for me it's quite important so essentially what you're saying without faith in God you won't be boxing Is that for what you're me saying? for me yeah stepping in the ring and doing that and taking the risk that we do and um, overcoming certain things that you want to overcome mentally before you get in that ring if not for the things that I believe in and what I read and that I, I wouldn't I would, I personally wouldn't get in the ring now so I'm glad I asked that because I didn't know how much it, it played a role but yeah, it's, it's a huge it's, one clearly it's a major like it's it's a I, I don't know how how much emphasis I want to put on it but it's a major 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 factor um, so sometimes I think people get in the ring and they don't believe in nothing and I'm thinking, damn, like, how you just get in the ring like that and do what you got to do, do you know what I mean? But for me, it's a major, major thing. Big, It's a very, very big fact. And for yourself, what is it that you want out of this sport? Of course, world titles, unifying, hopefully undisputed one day, but is, is, is um, leaving a legacy and a mark, is that important to you? It is. Um, it is, but again, I think... What people think of you is one thing, but you know, what's that quote that talks about reputation and character? Is it reputation is who people think you are and characters who you are? Where's my, my phone? Is there charging? Get, yeah, there's a, there's a quote that talks about that, and I think. Reputation and, and character. character. So essentially, what you think about yourself once you're done is more important? Or what I know I've done. Yeah, because I think in front of the camera, so what's the quote? Be more concerned with your character than your reputation because your character is who you really are whilst your reputation is merely what others think of you. That's so important. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So reputation, yeah, people might think, cool guy, nice guy, does this, does that, cool. But my character is who am I really? So that's why I think talking about some of the things that I want to do and X, Y, and Z, I think I don't really want to touch on that because that's just gonna make people think certain things about me, um, whether it be good or bad, but really the characters, who am I really? So when that camera is not on, you know, like what am I doing? Or if I saw someone in need, am I really helping them? Or am I just chatting crap in front of the camera saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna help them and then not do it, do you know what I mean? So yeah, this is a good quote, man. But yeah, I think in terms of legacy, yeah, you wanna, for me, like I say, do well in the sport, but make sure what I've done is wider than what I did inside the ring. That's the, to sum it up, yeah. You're considered uh, one of the best prospects in the country, in the world, uh, right now. Where do you see yourself, though? Of course, you haven't boxed at world level, mm. but if you were to be thrown in at world level this weekend, mm. do you feel like you're ready? It would be sink or swim, um, <laughs> fight or flight. And 
I think I've shown enough times that when that bell goes, I almost think fight. I don't think flight. Um, someone might say, yeah, but it's because of the people you've been fighting. That's true. The Olympic Games, it was fight or flight. I had no experience, but I was like, cool. Two hands, two legs. Um, see what I can do. Um, and it, as long as someone has tried and they've given their best account of themselves or they've put in as much effort as they could, then that's good enough. Um, and when I go in, I think, okay, give it 100%, put everything on the line. Um, and like I say, my faith plays a big part in terms of the mindset that I go into the ring with. Um, and even when I win, um, you have to be humble and gracious in everything because it could have been you on the other side losing. Do you know what I mean? It could, and it's mad because people come and support you and I think, damn, we cheer for this guy knocking that guy out. And I think a table's turned. What if it was you and all of that stuff? So it, it's mad to think about all of these things, but it's the sport that we're in. And as I've always said, when the bell goes, it's you or him. Make sure you get him before he gets you. So that's the sport. That's that's the nature of the sport that I'm in. Mm. When you watch the fight back on Monday morning, whenever you watch the fight back, what do you want to see yourself do against Kalic uh, this weekend? Mainly what my trainers have been screaming at me in the gym to do. Mainly that. Box, boxing this Sunday, I just want to show my trainers that I am listening. That's all it is. Show my trainers that I'm listening because I believe what they're teaching me will get me to the top. Um, and with doing what they're saying, people will be like, okay, cool, this guy's improved or this guy's the real deal or whatever they want to say about it. Someone might say, nah, this guy's pants. And that's their opinion, but do you know what I mean? So I think doing what my trainers are saying will will make people think, you know what, this guy is good. Um, so that's my sole aim. I want to wake up on Monday morning and I say to my trainers, you know, would you not think? And they're like, do you know what? You haven't taken in what we've been saying to you. That's what, that, I'll be happy with that. Okay, I hear that. Now, you're, you're fully focused on Sunday, but yeah. it wouldn't be right of me to, to speak to you and not mention what the fans want to know. And yeah. that is about we'll Andy Yard. It. Whenever Anthony Yard's in front of my camera, I'll, ask, yeah. I'll mention your name and it's going to be the same until it you guys fight. <laughs> One thing, let, let me just ask you straight, can you guarantee because he said that fight will happen. Can you guarantee that fight will happen one day? One day you want to say it will happen, yeah. Um, but as it stands, different promoters, different TV broadcasters. But listen, man, um, it's not... If it happened, it wouldn't be the first time that it's, that it's happened where two different fighters are with different promoters and X, Y, Z. So I'm not saying it's impossible. It's possible for it to happen. Um, as of when and how, I couldn't tell you very hard to make any further comments about it but it, yeah it's like I said fighters have been in this situation before and they've managed to fight each other so it's not like an impossible thing. Were you surprised that a few weeks back when Frank Warren put that poster out and uh, it yeah. had all the matchroom fighters of course you, the one that gathered most attention because we know Fury and Joshua were leading to the fight yeah. the one that gathered, gathered most attention was you and Anthony Yard. Yeah that's you, interesting to hear man like I think you're the second third person that said that to me so it's good that the interest is there. Um, whether Eddie and Frank are going to sit down over a meal, I don't know highly about it, but things are changing in boxing. Do you know what I mean? Like Things are very weird right now. So if it did happen, I wouldn't be like, damn, like these two agreed to make it happen. Um, but yeah, it's just another waiting game. Wait and see. Mind you, he's not officially fighting Lyndon Arthur, but we expect that announcement soon. And yeah. you know Lyndon, and that's going to be a tough fight for Anthony. Yeah, I, I rate Lyndon off a lot actually. Um, him and his cousin, um, Flash, I, I rate the pair of them. Um, it'll be a good fight to see stylistically as well. I spotted Lyndon loads, I've boxed him as well. So um, it, Lyndon can handle himself, he can look after himself. So it'll be good to see how that style matches up with Yard's one. So yeah, I look forward to that, I'll be watching. Should be a good fight. Last one on Anthony, I know you guys have had conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't know how recent. What, what do you speak about? Um. Any ideas that I think are good or he thinks that are good that we can agree on, we're like, cool, let's roll with that. Um, so the most recent one was um, the Black Lives Matter, all the, what's been going on with that. Um, we shared the same ideas in it, the same thoughts about it. Um, so it's good just to exchange, you know, and to bounce off each other and to talk about that. Um, and also I think if, if something is happening that I can do, there's something's happening that involves the pair of us um, and I can get it sorted out or he can get it sorted out. I'd rather just say, yo, this is what's happening, let's sort it out, rather than people trying to mediate just for their own interest or whatever it is. I'd rather be like, 
yo, this is the situation, X, Y, Z, or he'll be like, yo, this is the situation, X, Y, Z, rather than saying, oh, Tom down the road wants to do this on a camera with you two, with us two, sorry, and this and that and that. That's all good, but now if I can just pick up the phone and drop him a message and he can do that, then I think that's easy and smoother. So, um, yeah. But everything's cool, man. As, as always, I've got nothing bad to say about the guy. He just happens to be my weight category and people are like, oh, do you know what? We want to see you two fight, which is good. So, yeah, man. That's so mad because he has nothing bad to say about you. Yeah. And, the, and it's rare for two fighters like yourself to openly communicate quite a lot, yeah. etc. And for there to be so much public interest when there's no bad blood, yeah. that's a rare thing as well. Yeah, man. Um, we've seen other fighters where there's a bit of blood in that, but it's just boxing, isn't it? Like, we can, like I said, we can shake hands. I even saw Kalich before I saw you. I, I said cool to him. It's what they did on Thursday. Yeah. I can say cool to you on Thursday, but Sunday I'm not going to be saying cool to you. So that's when it'll be different. So I think it's the same concept here. We can talk, we can do everything. That's cool. But when once that bell goes, we know what time it is. Um, so yeah. Seems very easy for you to flick that switch. It's very easy. If you were a boxer, it'd be easy for you as well. Yeah, hundred percent. But you say that those we know a lot of fighters in this game like that. Yeah, man, right place, right time, innit? That's what I think. Listen, JB, I know you've done loads today in terms of media, so I appreciate. Uh, I think this is your last one, innit? Yeah, last one for the day. Yeah, I'll appreciate chill out now. the time in your room. Um, is it a message uh, to anyone tuning on Sky Sports on Sunday night and your, all your fans? Just, um, just stay with me. It's been a long spell of inactivity, but we're here. We're back. Um, Sunday, October the 4th, we're back in action. So make sure you tune in on Sky Sports. Stay positive in everything you do because there's so much negativity and negative things happening. But always find a positive aspect of it, hang on to it, dwell on it and run with it. So Sunday, October the 4th, we're back. Make well, sure you tune in. Well said, Joshua Boatsy, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of right. luck this Sunday. We'll catch sure. thank after you after the fight. That's nice one, boss. Respect, bro. Thank you. Save me. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.